Why are you able to swing so much faster in practice swings than you are in a real golf swing? Subscribe. All right, well, let's talk about that. In a practice swing, you are swinging the golf club. Truly swinging the golf club. You have no intent or desire to send a projectile, the ball, in a direction. And then as soon as you get behind that ball, suddenly it's no longer about swinging the golf club. It's about sending that thing where you want. And what's the difference? Well, when you swing the golf club, you didn't care about what direction you were swinging. Uh, all you did was swing it. And what you did naturally was you swung it so that your fastest point would be about here in front of you, about where the ball would be. So that means you actually swung the golf club kind of in that direction. You set your force out that way so that when it reached the end of the club, the club was traveling this way and now it's moving fastest. But you were unaware that you did that. So in the real swing, and this is funny, you then try to get the club to a point where you can now start to manipulate it through the ball and you're no longer swinging the club now you're manipulating it. And those two, manipulating the club and truly swinging the club, are very different. And the funny thing is, in golf, everybody's trying to make the golf club go fastest when it meets the ball or through the ball. And so they're trying to manipulate their swing so that the golf club goes fastest right there. I'm a little crowded here. Uh, they want it to go fastest there. So because they want it to go fastest there, they're manipulating their swing to make it happen where they want it to happen instead of the other way around. Think about this. If you just swing the club and you could figure out in what direction am I sending my force and where in the swing compared to where I'm sending my force does the club head go the fastest? And you'll see that it's about 90 degrees off of the tangent from which you sent your force, right? So uh, if we talk about a circle, but we're going to talk about a tangent. So the tangent would run straight down and there would be a Basically, it would be a square. Uh, there would be a corner and there. And your club moves down that tangent line. And then it makes a corner and it meets this tangent line at the bottom. And so if you reverse engineer and figure out where do I send my force in order for it to come out where I want it to, rather than trying to just simply make it come out where you want it to without reverse engineering it, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a, a massive disservice. So, um, it, it's, I mean, I've done all the work for you. You, you basically, you know, you send it 90 degrees prior and it's going fastest when it reaches the ball. Um, and yes, if the ball weren't there, your club head would be going fastest probably about a foot after the ball, but the ball literally slows the club head down quite a bit, um, and we got to expect that to happen. But the club is freewheeling at that point. It's just smacking into the ball, and it's all about inertia and forces at that point. But simply reverse engineering, where is the speed spot in my swing and how do I how do I send my force so that my speed spot is there as opposed to simply trying to make your speed spot happen there uh, so for many people they're trying to make it happen there
But their speed spot is actually way out here somewhere, long after the ball is gone. So, I mean, if you <laughs> tried to swing, I mean, if I try to swing in, let's say, that direction, <laughs> my club is way back here, and the speed spot is way out here. But by moving my intent back here, my speed spot moves to where I want it, which is through the ball. It's just that simple. It's a simple idea of reverse engineering the golf swing, which I don't think most people reverse engineer things nearly as much as they should. Uh, or if they do, they only do it one step and not two, three, four, five deep. They really don't find out what the actual cause is. They imagine they know, but they don't. 